Hello, welcome to the Monday, December 17th, 2018 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and I'm recording from Washington, D.C. Earlier this week, the Tencent Plate security team released an interesting vulnerability in SQLite. Now, SQLite is a very ubiquitous tool. It's used in many, many different products. So a vulnerability in this particular tool is quite serious. And we already have a proof of concept exploit out there that will crash Google Chrome. So SQLite, offers the ability to store structured data in small files and then provides SQL or a subset of the SQL query language to allow you to query this data. Now this vulnerability may go beyond Chrome and beyond browsers. As far as browsers are concerned, uh, currently Chrome, Safari, and Opera are supporting SQLite. Now, the web SQL database uh, this support is based on that particular standard is actually no longer maintained and is sort of on its way out. But there are many, many other tools that are using SQLite databases uh, to maintain configuration information or just to store random data. So get ready for various vendors to patch their products in the next few weeks. Of course, the browser is as usual sort of the biggest target here. If exploited, uh, this particular vulnerability could lead to code execution. And if you're using a Logitech keyboard or mouse and you have the Logitech Options software installed, be careful. It is possible for arbitrary web pages to send keystrokes to your system. The reason this vulnerability exists is that Logitech Options does implement a web socket server and does not actually verify any data that's being sent to this service. So any web page can run JavaScript that will then send data to this WebSockets server. And again, the WebSockets server does not actually check the origin of the data. The only security feature appears to be that the attacker needs to know the process ID of the software. Well, uh, that's actually brute forceable and there is no lockout. So you can brute force as often and as quickly as you would like. Now, Google is in contact with Logitech about this. Logitech did release a new version last week, but apparently this new version did not fix the problem. Now, Google has, according to its usual standing policy, released details about this vulnerability, including functional proof of concept code. And security company Embeddy came up with an interesting trick to actually load unauthenticated BIOS updates into Intel NUC devices. NUC, short for New Unit of Computing, is this little set of devices that Intel came up with to kind of showcase compact and powerful computers possible with Intel technology. Well, uh, sadly, they forgot to adequately protect the system against unauthenticated UEFI bias updates. Embeddy came up with a proof of concept exploit that they made public. Now, exploitation is not easy. You still need to have access to device first. And Intel has released a bias update to fix this vulnerability. Now, of course, when you apply that update, make sure you download it from a genuine source. And there's some new hope for victims of variants of the Hidden Tear ransomware. In case you have been hit by this and you have files that were encrypted by this ransomware, there is now a decryptor available that is able to brute force the key used to decrypt these files. Now, of course, with all brute forcing, it can take a while for it to find the correct solution, but it seems that it's not really taking all that terribly long and certainly feasible to decrypt your files without having to pay the ransom. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.